Oh, hiya. You all yeah, right? How's it going? Good to be back. You know what time it is, don't you? It's time for some summer cyclocross across the old border. So come and join me and we'll see how it's gone. Yes people, hello and welcome. It's race time. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you pumped? Are you excited? I am. Come on! Come on! As you can probably see here, I don't manage to clip in. Um, so there's my first excuse for this race. I was unable to clip into my pedals until about now. <laughs> so I was really trying to get a good start but I failed miserably. I started on the third row because uh, I turned up too late. I was like, I was so determined to do a good warm up, and I forgot the roll. Well, I don't have any rolls. I forgot the uh, the turbo trainer, so I was riding around the roads nearby, trying to get warm. And I thought, um, oh, I'll make it in loads of time. Get there, right at the back of the pack. Bugger. Start off. Don't clip in. Bugger. Anyway, that's the first excuse out of the way. Um, it was a real madcap start. It's quite a wide, it's quite a wide course, um, but it was still, you know, a lot of people, a lot of riders. Everyone's riding at the same speed to start with. This is always the trouble with the cyclocross race: is at the start, everyone rides as fast as the person who's in first position, and it's just a case of everyone starts to slowly tail off. Um, and who's who? You know, obviously, if you can stay with the leader, then you might be in with winning the race, but. That's not me. And here we are at the fun part of the course, the off camber bit. I'm running here because I always run these bits in the first in the first race, in the first lap, sorry. Uh, because it's always just complete anarchy, as you can see. Uh, but then after that, I tried riding this to, with varying levels of success. Um, you can see why I've put the studs in my shoes now, can't you? I, I did this race last year and I had no studs in my shoes and I was slipping all over the place. Uh, similar weather again, so yeah. Here's another off camber. Uh, I bloody love riding off cambers. Get that foot out, mate. Get that foot out. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Yeah, so slipping and sliding all over the place. It's a little bit anarchic. Again, as I said before, loads and loads of corners. Now, I've not raced cyclocross since December, um, like probably a lot of the riders here to be fair, um, but I've been riding on my mountain bike a lot and really enjoying it and it's, I've forgotten how to race cyclocross. Certainly going round corners, uh, mountain biking, you know, you stick your elbows out, you, you sort of throw the bike round the corner and, and lead it, whereas it, when you do that in cyclocross you're going you're gonna to skid out, so you have to sort of put your weight back a bit more and uh, just lead with your belly button really or your torso pointing in the direction you want to go and it took me quite a while to remember sort of yeah how to ride cyclocross how to ride in a field without suspension and like massively wide tires oh well here's another really fun bit steep hill this is probably the hardest part of the course because you've just done that big long climb there um, of about 30 seconds. Then you've got this really steep effort here with a big ridge here. Just uh, I hope you're enjoying the water on the screen. Sorry about that. Big lump there and then you go up this bit and then a bit more climbing and this this was always the hardest part where your heart rate gets the highest. And this is where you can make the biggest difference in the course really. 
it's this one and a half two minute section where you can really go for it this sand pit was good fun I run it there because I, my logic is I don't want to get sand in my drivetrain however running it means that you get the sand caught in your cleats so oh hold on a sec there you go mate boom get down get down there you go that's me forgetting how to race how to race cyclocross I, I, I didn't put enough weight on the outside turn too much with my wheel and slam down oh well the beauty of cyclocross is I just got a wet knee didn't I just got a wet knee if that was a criterion you'd be looking at probably broken collarbone or at, at least like grazed knees grazed elbows ripped clothes ruined bike there you go cyclocross rules mate anyway yeah like I was saying loads of turning all that jazz again another thing that I love about cyclocross is you see this guy overtaking me is that it's so much of it is about technique it's not just about fitness so if you put too much of an effort in and then therefore you're you know really blown out of your ass then you're not going to line yourself up properly for the next corner and you're going to over over hit it and the guy that you just put loads of effort into overtaking will overtake you um, here we are I'm trying to ride this this time um, but it's really good fun um, unclip and run up actually in the end thank you very much studs in shoes this was something that I always found really difficult riding the off cambers um, you just have to really pedal you just have to put all your weight into the hill almost your, your foot on the outside and really just go for it um, have the confidence that you will keep grip so we're about halfway through the race now and I'm in no man's land really um, no one really that near in front of me or behind me um, so it's hard to hard to get the motivation to keep on going really I know I'm not going that strong here's Tony my mate Tony yes Tony go on go on Yes, lads. Come on. Yeah, so, oh yeah, my, my second excuse is uh, I've injured my knee. So I've barely been on the bike the last three weeks or so. Um, so I had no idea what to expect from this race. Um, so I'm just having some fun. On to the penultimate lap now, and you start to sort of lap a few riders. Um, someone tries to snot me there. <laughs> Only joking. Um, and yeah, this is that hill again, um, where it's that one and a half, two minute effort. There's first place, just absolutely speeding past, making me look like I'm not even doing anything. I catch up with this lad and it looks like I'm actually uh, at a similar speed to him, so maybe I'm actually catching up with him rather than lapping him. Um, as we come around this sort of technical bit, and I nearly crash into him, um, yeah, I realise that we're actually on a similar level. might actually have a bit of a battle that all, final few laps you always want a battle because that's what motivates you to keep on putting the effort in rather than just drop your head which is something I always do uh, as I go on I mean you can barely call that an attack can you uh, I'd call it a slow pass um, I go past him um, I'm, I'm riding through the pit now I'm no longer I'm no I'm no longer trying to run through it because it was harder to clip back in uh, and just um, I've overtaken him and then here he comes now absolutely flying past so I try to keep with him I'm a bit confused at this point because I'm like was he just having a rest <laughs> was he just having a rest because he's just absolutely sped off there uh, and I try and stick near him and I sort of keep this gap for a few minutes um, just w being a bit confused now it's the final lap and he's all I've got to aim for really get to this techie section and he's still there just in front of me as the raindrops carry on dropping down and uh, yeah unfortunately he skids out uh, and I and I don't so I carry on and I manage to maintain that gap uh, all the way to the line um, as it's a, a lap rider in the front here we get even more rain on the GoPro sorry about that there we go job done
race done mate, absolutely knackered, back killing, flat rear tyre, oh, bike across his back baby. Right, job done. So I got um, 35th place overall, but 6th placed in my category, 6th place senior. So it's a really weird mixture of very high quality veterans and junior riders uh, and myself who is definitely not in shape at the minute but there's plenty of time to sort that out got a couple of good videos coming up for you as well bike check video showing you all about my cyclocross bike all the little parts that i've got going for it also i'm going on a training camp but with a twist a little twist so thanks very much for watching if you haven't already please click subscribe because that really does help me out nice one catch you later Having hard times There's no love to be found